Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexander from Fairy Today U and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of these crazy shirts behind me that are dropping this Sunday, the 26th of April at 5 p.m. Now, as always, we release one of these videos before every single drop and just to showcase to you guys some of the tees hitting the store come this Sunday. Now, if you do already follow us over on our Instagram, which is at Fairy underscore AU, we've been posting a few little sneak peeks here and there and a lot of you guys have been asking about these tees. We've been holding on to them for a while, but I'm so glad this drop is finally here. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so to kick things off, we have my favorite ever Metallica shirt to exist, and probably the shirt that I would say is one of the most recognizable, um, one of the most iconic vintage shirts out there. And I'll get back to why I think that is, but we've got this 1988 Metallica Doris tee, and this thing is just a piece of artwork, honestly. The reason why it is my favorite ever Metallica shirt is I think it's got the best plus head graphic on it. The colors and detail on this thing is absolutely perfect. It goes so, so well. And then for me, one of the best Metallica back graphics ever to exist. The, the detail, the thought, and the design that went into this thing, I think is just absolutely next level and for me like I said the best ever Metallica shirt now the reason why I say it is the most iconic and the most um, recognizable vintage shirt is because I think when a lot of people were introduced to vintage it was around the time where this shirt was absolutely huge we had people like Jerry Lorenzo Justin Bieber all wearing this tee and then from that you know H&M obviously Zara I think Fear of God even did their version of this tee but it's just an absolutely amazing shirt the graphics incredible it's printed on one of the old Brock and Worldwide stitching tags tags is a size extra large fits as such and this thing is just perfect for like a shirt that's what 32 years old now the condition is amazing the print's still nice no fade to it beautiful neck beautiful Beautiful fit and just a grail. Like for any collection, this is one of the ultimate grail pieces, in my opinion. I just love it. And um, come Sunday, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it. It's going to be in the store this Sunday, and um, I definitely think this one's going to fly because it's a really, really sick piece. All right, guys. So next up, we have another two Metallica shirts, and I'm going to do them both together just because we have had previous versions of these shirts in the last few drop previews, and I don't want the videos to get too repetitive. But every single time these do hit the store, they always do sell out, so I try to get them in as much as possible. But the first one is this Metallica 1991 I'm Inside You shirt, and this thing's just really, really nice once again a crazy plus head graphic single stitch on one of the old metallica tags tagged as a size extra large it does fit as such but this one in particular has a really really nice fade to it and it really complements the graphics and make those colors pop even more but if we flip it over to the back once again we've got the i'm inside you sabbath true hit which i really really like and that leads us on to the second one which is once again one of the most iconic metallica shirts but it's this 1994 ride the lightning team which i absolutely love the wear on this thing is perfect it's really soft the graphics got a nice fade and wear to it and it's also printed on one of the old giant tags Tagged is a size large, however, it does kind of fit more so between a large and an XL. So if you're either size, you'll get away with it, but just really nice iconic front graphic. And then obviously the glow and the dark hit on the back, which I absolutely love. So two really, really sick shirts. Like I said, we've put them on the store a few times. Every time they go up, they sell out. So we are going to keep trying to get in because I do love them. The graphics are amazing, but let's get on to the next ones. All right, so next up, we have another tour shirt from 1991. And this time it's from Guns N' Roses, US part of their Use Your Illusion tour. And for me, this is by far the best Guns N' Roses shirt we've ever found. Like, absolutely love this tee and it's it's mostly because of the back graphic i'll show you that in a second but the front graphic's really really amazing it's printed on one of the best old blanks the hanes tagged as a size large however it does actually fit more so like an xl i would say i usually wear xl and this fits me perfect but single stitch the colors there's no fading no wear to it at all it's just a really really sick piece it feels like it's kind of come out of a time capsule because it's really really perfect now like i said my favorite part of this whole shirt is the back so let's flip it over and take a look at this graphic but this thing is just wild Got the US dates and locations down there with this incredible colorful hit that I've never ever seen before. So really, really crazy back. It's complemented with a really nice front, but just all in all a really sick shirt. The condition on it is amazing. And like I said, I've never seen another one like it. So it's kind of like a one of a kind piece and I just absolutely love this shirt. All right, so next up, we got a shirt from a band that we don't tend to get a lot of their tees, but it's this 2002 Slipknot shirt. Now, I do believe this is from their 2001 Iowa album. I'm not 100% sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I really, really like this shirt. Now, the reason I like it so much is I'm not sure if the camera's gonna do it, but whoever does end up with this shirt will know exactly what I'm talking about. The colors complemented with this fade on this shirt are absolutely perfect. Now, I talk about this a lot in the videos. However, this I think is the perfect example. The colors are really, really nice. They really pop. The blue itself is kind of like a UNC blue, which I absolutely love, but it's made literally a hundred times better by the fact that the blank has the most perfect subtle fade to it. It just makes the colors stand out even more. Now, once again, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna do it justice, but it just looks absolutely amazing. If you ever get to see this in hand it's literally perfect now it's printed on an old diamond star tag which is in a partnership with all style apparel and activewear which a lot of you guys will know but it's really really soft has a nice kind of boxy fit to it and just a really really sick tee all right so next 
Next up, we have another shirt from a band. We've actually never had one of their tees on the store, and it's this 1998 Die Side When Satan Lives. Now, I really like a lot of their graphics. This one's quite unusual. I do like the big kind of bloody red hit, but then down the bottom, looks so we've got Mother Mary and Jesus in Hell or something like that. And then if we flip it over to the back, we've got the When Satan Lives. And I really, really like the fact that we have a photo of the band performing on stage. You don't really see that on a lot of shirts, so a really, really nice hit there. And then it's also printed on one of the old blue grape tags. Tagged is a size extra large. It kind of fits more so like a large because it is a bit narrower. Single stitch, nice and soft, and just a nice overall graphic. Next up, we have one of my favorite ever Rolling Stone shirts. And it's from their 1994-1995 Voodoo Lounge Tour. Now, you guys will know from this tour, a lot of amazing shirts came out. However, I think this has to be one of the best ones. I really love the big Rolling Stones hit. And then we've got the globe and the two tongues. Now, it's printed on one of the old, one of the OG Brockham tags. This is the first one I've ever actually seen in hand. And you can't really tell that it is Brockham because it has completely faded. But an old Brockham tag, it kind of fits between a medium to large. It's got quite a boxy fit, but just overall a really, really sick graphic, really nice and soft. And then if we flip it over to the back, we've got the simple Rolling Stones Voodoo Lounge hit. So a really, really sick tee and from definitely a really iconic tour. So next up, we have this beautiful 90s Doors tee. And I really, really love this thing. I've said in previous videos, it's extremely hard to find a lot of old band shirts where they actually have photos or portraits of the band members themselves. You know, a lot of the time I have the album artwork or just some kind of graphic relating to the band. However, this has all four members. And another thing you guys will know that I love is black and white graphics with a subtle hit of color. And this thing is literally perfect. Obviously the four black and white hits there and then the surrounding pink is absolutely perfect. It looks so good. Got the nice, the doors hit there, the metallic kind of gradient text. And then if we flip it over to the back, we've got this kind of inverted black and white hit that I absolutely love with the text down below and just all in all a really, really sick shirt. Now, it's printed on one of the OG Winterland tags. Tag is a size large, it does fit as such. Single stitch has a really nice fade to it and all in all, just a really, really sick piece. All right guys, so the last two tees we're gonna be taking a look at today are these Lakers championship winning tees. And I love both of these things. Growing up, I was a huge basketball fan and specifically the Lakers was my team and that was basically because of Kobe Bryant. So huge RIP to him, but I absolutely love both these shirts. The first one is from their 2000 victory. The graphic on this thing is really, really nice. Very, very similar to what we see in the old kind of Bulls tees where they have the big ring and then the champions hit across the top. But this one is printed, funnily enough, on old champion blank. Tagged as a size double XL, kind of fits double XL to XL. Um, but it's really, really nice, beautiful fade to it. Got the champion embroidered hit there on the sleeve and just all in all, a really, really sick shirt. Really nice graphic and really nice fade to it. And that leads us on to the second one, which is from their 2002 championship winning team. Now, obviously this was the year that they three-peated because they won in 2000. 2001 and 2002 so this is a third of the set if you have 2001 pick up both of these you have all three of them so really really sick piece this one is printed on old delta pro weight tag a size extra large it does fit as such and the graphic once again really really sick kind of has more of like a futuristic vibe to it but i really love both of these tees and um yeah just really sentimental pieces all right guys that's it for today's video thank you all so much for tuning in i hope you guys did enjoy yourselves we just went over some of these incredible shirts hitting the store this sunday at 5 p.m now as always the drop in itself is a total of 21 t so there still is a few more you guys haven't yet necessarily seen so as always go over to our instagram follow us at faded underscore au we'll do a few more posts and a few more stories leading into the job that way you guys will know everything that's going to be hitting the store so thank you guys so much for tuning in today i hope you guys did enjoy yourselves and i'll see you guys next time take care